Sixth ranked Central Missouri Mules football opens the NCAA Division II playoffs with the first round matchup against number 24 ranked Henderson State at Walton Stadium Kennedy Field. It's the fifth time in program history and first time since 2019 that the Mules are in the playoffs. Opening drive of the contest, Zach Zabrowski under some pressure, fires and finds Michael Fitzgerald down the middle, 49-yard completion, forced out of bounds at the Henderson State 20-yard line. Two plays later, Mules on first and goal. Marcellus Hawkins gets the handoff and scores. Central Missouri on top, 7 to nothing in the first two minutes of the game. On the next Mules possession, Zabrowski rolls to his right and finds Hawkins wide open. A 19-yard touchdown makes it 14-0 Mules. UCM's offense keeps it going. Zabrowski steps up in the pocket, fires to Jack Pospisil. A 39-yard score, Central Missouri leading by 21. And less than six minutes left in the first quarter, Zabrowski goes over the middle to Bo Reeves. He does the rest himself to the house. 73-yard touchdown. The Mules would score one more time in the quarter to lead 35 to nothing at the end of the first. Henderson State gets on the board in the second quarter, but Central Missouri would quickly respond. Zabrowski finds Fitzgerald in space and scores. A 41-yard touchdown completion. UCM on top 42-7. Less than three minutes until the break, Mules deep in ready territory. Zabrowski with a short pass to Pospisil in the end zone, a nine-yard touchdown. Jack Pospisil had four receptions for 69 yards and three touchdowns. The Mules up 49-14 at halftime. In the third, Zabrowski finds Arkell Smith in the end zone from four yards out. Zach Zabrowski threw for 467 yards and seven passing touchdowns. The six-ranked Mules roll past number 24 Henderson State by the final, 56 to 14. We were excited to play a team from another conference. You know, we play in the MIAA and playing that schedule and not having the ability to play any other teams, we, we really, we, you don't know, um, you know, what it feels like uh, to play other teams out, outside of conference. And so our guys were excited to feel that. And um, I think once they got in tempo and got in rhythm and kind of got into the pace of the football game, you know, they're, they executed at a really high level, and um, they were able to go out and uh, score pretty consistently early on. And then, you know, defense getting some stops. Uh, their three and out on the very first possession was huge. And, um, you know, if you can get a 14-point lead, you know, in any game, it, it's big. And they were able to, to capitalize on that and continue to build on that. I think once we get a first down, our offense kind of gets rolling, and we kind of we can dictate it with our tempo. What they can't, you can't change too much on defense when you're going tempo. You got to kind of play base. I think we got a good idea of what they are running, and we had we had guys that were going to get open. And I just had to get it to them, and we got some guys that are that are really freaky on the outside. So I think just getting the ball to them and letting them make plays, and then our line obviously does a good job in the run game and pass pro. So I think just getting that first first down every every drive and getting rolling and just letting our our dudes be dudes. We really just want to play complimentary so I mean we know when a game starts uh, if we have that choice we're taking the ball um, our defense believes that they're going to score I mean we, we've set that pretty high this season and we're going to match our energy from the offense so uh, we shut down their offense and then we're going to go put up points and, and that's the game plan each week so it's, it's and then special teams as well so we just want to uh, dominate in all phases that we can. When you have talented people, uh, you surround yourself with talented people that work really, really hard, that pull the rope the same way, that truly believe in, in the process of, of trying to get individually better and collectively better and then have fun with each other. It's a, it's a pretty tough combination to stop. And so, you know, we don't, we don't talk about scores. We don't talk about numbers. We don't, or it's not really how we're defined. We're not a results oriented football team. We, we truly set the standard in, in how we behave, uh, how we talk, how we think, how we act, and um, know that we have an impact on each other. And, and so we try to pull the rope the same way uh, at a really, really high level and have a lot of fun doing it.